Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tits. In this video, you'll learn how to make your photos look more dramatic by adding puddles in Photoshop. You'll start off by cutting and pasting parts of your photo to create a fake reflection. Then, you'll paint in the puddle with a layer mask and tweak the settings to make it look a bit more realistic. Finally, you'll finish it by adding a subtle ripple effect to the puddles. And you're going to do all of this using non-destructive editing techniques and with a very minimal set of layers. So if you're interested, keep watching and you'll learn how to add your own realistic puddles in Photoshop. Before you begin, you'll need to choose the right photo. A photo on a cloudy day or after a rainfall will work the best. For sunny photos, it's a lot harder to make the puddles look believable, and sometimes it just won't work. So if this is your first time following this tutorial, start off with a cloudy photo like the one that we're using. And by the way, we're using a stock photo, so if you want to follow along with the exact same photo, you can check the video description below to find out where you can buy this photo. Or you can just use your own. The first step is to create a fake reflection by cutting, pasting, and flipping different areas in the photo. Let's start with this door here. We can make a selection of it with the polygonal lasso tool here, and simply draw a selection around the door like this. By the way, we only need the bottom half of the door, and the selection doesn't need to be overly precise. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Before we transform this layer, right-click on the layer and then choose Convert to Smart Object. This will let us do the transformation non-destructively. Next, press Ctrl or Command T for the Transform tool, then right-click inside of the box and select Flip Vertical. Don't press Enter yet. Position the layer so that it's on the bottom of the door. It's not going to match, so we need to skew the transformation by right-clicking inside the box and choosing Skew. Now we can drag the slide vertically to make it align with the door like this. I'm going to repeat this for the other door, and since it's essentially the same step, we're going to fast forward this video to save you some time. The last object to create a mirror of is the bride and groom in the middle. This one's a little different because it's a more complex shape. The easiest way to create a selection for this is to use the quick selection tool. With this tool, you can simply brush over the areas that you want to select like this. And if you want to remove the area from the selection, you can do so by holding the Alt or Option key and painting over the areas that you want to remove. Once we have the selection, select back the background layer and then press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate it. Right click on the layer and then choose Convert to Smart Object. Now press Ctrl or Command T, flip it vertically, and then position it below the bride. To transform this into a curve, you can right click and change the transform mode to warp. Now you can simply drag downwards like this to make it contour properly. Finally, I'll repeat this for the group. Now we have a reflection and it looks pretty good. Now that we're done creating the reflection, we can form the puddles. Before we begin, merge the layers by selecting all of the reflection layers and then right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. This is just a non-destructive way to merge layers. Now we can add an inverted layer mask by holding Alt or Option and clicking on this button here in the Layers panel. Select the brush tool and then use a large soft brush like this. Set the brush opacity to around 50% and then paint over the areas that you want the puddles to appear in. Right now, the puddles look like a mirror reflection. To make it look more realistic, we need to do two things. Number one, reduce the opacity, and number two, darken it a bit. First, let's darken it by going to the Adjustments panel and adding a Levels Adjustment layer. Here you can move the middle input slider to darken the image like this. To make it only affect the reflection layer below, click on this button here. Next, reduce the opacity to around 50%. Before we finish, here's a tip. If you want to blur the layer mask, instead of using the Gaussian Blur filter, you can select the layer mask and then go into your Properties panel. Here you can adjust the feather setting which will blur the layer mask. It's the same thing as the blur filter, but it's better because you can undo or change the settings at any time. The last thing to do is to add a slight ripple effect. Select the reflection layer, then go to Filter, Distort, Wave. 
Play around with the settings to get a subtle ripple effect that matches the roughness of the floor. I like to start off by setting the scale to around 25%. The preview image in this tool is way too small, so what I like to do instead is just click OK to preview it, and then if it doesn't look good, double click on the Smart Filter in the Layers panel, and you can edit the settings again. We're done! Here's how the image looks like before and after. Hey, thanks for watching this video. That was just a quick way to add puddles in Photoshop. If you have any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments below. Aside from that, I wish you an awesome day. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next week.